Todd Gurley is the newest member of the Atlanta Falcons after being let go by the Los Angeles Rams yesterday and tweeting that he was being fired on his day off. Immediately, he has picked up a new contract with the Atlanta Falcons on a one-year deal. Financial terms not disclosed at this particular moment in time. Max, before I get to you, let me welcome to the show Swagoo himself, Marcus Spears. There was technical difficulties going on with Molly Kim Rose. As a result, I'm holding down the fault until we can get her stuff together. Swagoo, I just wanted to educate you about the rules and the regulations. I am not Molly, okay? You will speak when spoken to. You will cut it short when I tell you this is to. An abuse of and power. And Max Kellerman has already been informed of the same. Stephen A. Smith is running the show right now, okay? You understand this the is rules an abuse and regulations? Of power. I, I vote to impeach. I, do you understand? I, well, I hope Molly hurry the hell up and get our uh, audio fixed so we can get you back in, <laughs> in, in your role of just talking noise. <laughs> That's right. Well, you just watch your mouth and you watch your manners. And remember, you will speak when spoken to. Max, the floor is yours. Todd Gurley is a member of the Atlanta Falcons. How do you feel about this fit? I mean, who is Todd Gurley right now? We don't... It, it, is he going to stay on the field? And when he's on the field, is he the same guy? To me, pretty clearly, the answer is no, or he'd still be on the Rams. Guys, as your favorite, Stephen A., Warren Sharp, Sharp Analytics, tweeted out yesterday that when, when this went down, the, the Rams had a fifth-year option on Gurley. They could have exercised that option, and that would have taken place last year, and there's no contractual obligation to him anymore. Instead, they got to eat that money? Look. We talked about this yesterday as it relates to Derrick Henry, and we talked about Derrick Henry in previous weeks about, oh, they franchised him, it's messed up for running backs, but that's the reality. Stephen A., Swagoo, this is what happens to teams who give running backs big deals. This is why I'm up here saying, and by the way, running backs of America, I, I love you, I got nothing against you. I think there should be <laughs> rules changes for that position specifically in terms of how you get paid and when because it's so messed up. But the argument against drafting running backs up high is, well, look, it's not a good idea. You can approximate that value lower in the draft. But if you have a, a Gurley, a Saquon, an Ezekiel Elliott, someone like that, that you can kind of build an offense around, you can draft them up high because they're going to give you elite production for the first four or five years you can franchise them once or twice if they're still healthy, and then you can give them a small guarantee because by then they're 27 years old. They're going to have a couple of years more of production. That makes sense for teams. I'm not talking about what's fair, guys. I'm talking about the reality. What the Titans did with Derrick Henry was smart, even if it was messed up. What the Rams did with Gurley was stupid, even if it felt like the right thing to do. Here we are. Swagoo. You may speak. Well, Max, I, Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's, two, it's, it's two parts to this, man. First of all, I think when Todd Gurley got that deal, he was viewed as more than just a running back out of the backfield. The second thing is, and I, I, I don't know this particularly, but I have talked to people around the league. I don't think Todd Gurley is healthy. Todd Gurley has a degenerative knee. I dealt with that. When you tear a meniscus, he had ACLs, but you can come back from those. But I think he has a degenerative knee. And I believe the uh, LA Rams did him a service by keeping that kind of under wraps and not forcing pressure on Todd Gurley. If you remember throughout the season, they gave him rest. They limited carries. They limited his time on the field. I believe that they took care of Todd Gurley as much as they possibly could, realizing that he had a knee that was going to continue to deteriorate throughout his year. Hence now, you see the Atlanta Falcons giving him a one-year deal. And I really believe that this is a good move by the Atlanta Falcons. Todd Gurley can still be productive. He had 800 yards, 800 plus yards rushing last year. So it's not like he can't add some type of value to what you're trying to do offensively. Atlanta zone scheme, he thrives in that. Sticking his foot in the ground, getting downhill. But, but to your point, Max, this is the second thing I want to reiterate. Now you see in free agency a lot of these guys doing three-year deals. And I spoke with my former agent, Pat Dye Jr., about why are we seeing so many three-year deals. 
because that's where the money is. That's where you can get the guaranteed money. That's really what's important. And when you see these long, extenuated five, six, seven year deals. So with that being said, this is smart for the Atlanta Falcons to get Todd Gurley. The new structure of contracts now are going to be these short term because the only thing people are, are really concerned about is the guaranteed money. I think it's good. I think the running backs will be in a, be a better position for it. And I guarantee you Christian McCaffrey and Saquon Barkley will get a lot of money when they're up for their deals. Well, I think, I think the thing about it, guys, is that, number one, he's not the only running back that they're going to be relying upon. That's number one. You got to remember, he had 33 less carries last season than he did the season before, even though he had played an additional game. He only played in 14 games in 2018, played in 15 games this past season, but still had 33 less carries. So we got to understand that. But when you look at a guy like a Derrick Henry, for example, and he has 303 carries, when you remember what DeMarco, or DeMarco Murray did with the Dallas Cowboys having over 300 carries that year, you see some of the elite quarterback, or elite running backs and the kind of uh, pristine years that they had, it's usually over 300 carries. Todd Gurley has never had that load and never carried that load in his NFL career. And so clearly with the degenerative need that Swagoo just alluded to, we can't ignore that because we all saw some dissipated level of skill set or abilities on his part last season compared to what he did the previous year when they went to the Super Bowl. We even saw him limited to some degree in the playoffs and ultimately in the Super Bowl against New England the year before this past season. So you take all of those things into consideration. We now understand why the Rams did what they did. But then we go and we move over to Atlanta. What do you have there? You've got Julio Jones. You still got an experienced quarterback in Matt Ryan. You got Calvin Ridley. So you've got elite wide outs and, uh, along with, you know, they've always run by committee with Freeman and Coleman at once upon a time. Now you're going to add Curly to the mix. I think it's a situation that could potentially work for the former star at Georgia. You're going to have people yeah. there rooting for him. He'll be enthused and excited with something to prove possibly a chip on his shoulder since he felt like he got fired on his day off as he tweeted. I think ultimately, guys, <laughs> it works for a multitude of all well, of those Friday. reasons. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.